Okay, so I'm making this video because as a lot of you already may know by now, but if you don't, there is currently a termination exploit going around on Discord abusing the AI moderation to get your account permanently terminated and it happened to me. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did to get unbanned and go through the entire process to hopefully resolve the ban for you. Keep in mind this is only made for people who were wrongfully banned and have actually been affected by this exploit. If you were banned by Discord for actually breaking the rules, this is not going to work for you. The best way to completely avoid it is just to turn off your DMs and only talk to your friends that you trust because anyone that uses the exploit on you is most likely going to be using an alt account because their account gets terminated as well. So yeah. Uh, this is my account that was terminated, but obviously I got it back now. And yeah. Alright, so there, I'm going to leave the video in the description about how the, like, exploit works. You can watch this if you want to. Uh, but yeah. First thing you want to do is go to this link right here, which will bring you here. Click uh, Appeals and Age Update Request right there. You want to click appeal in action, take it on my account, and same thing right there. And then go back here, copy and paste this uh, subject, and then copy and paste this. Now if you can, definitely attach a screenshot of just genuinely anything. It will help your case, I promise. Like this was my attachment to the to the case when I personally appealed so just getting anything will help. Uh, you want to change some of the stuff so you want to change this to your username. If you don't have your ID that's fine just get rid of that. If you don't have the attacker ID you don't know who did it to you just delete this and put your user right there which mine is recon. Uh, if you got banned for something other than child safety change it but this is just what I got banned for. So yeah. Then you want to add the file and click submit. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go back to the paste bin and go to this link right here, which will bring you here and copy this email right here. If not, you can just copy the email right here. And I'm just using a temporary email, but do this on the email that you got banned on preferably, but yeah. You want to copy uh, this, make that the subject, and then copy the entire thing. So this entire thing, like so. And what you want to do is when you submit a ticket, there will be like a screenshot or like, no, no, no. There'll be like the ticket thing right there. This is the ID right here the ID. You want to like put that down in the email. So I'm going to just do a random one. But yeah, you would want to put down your ticket ID. Right? Wait, no. And then you want to put your account effective. Like this. And then you'd obviously put your ID, but I'm not going to do all that. And then finally, like if for some reason your request gets like automatically solved by the AI like Claude or whatever it's called uh, then proceed on to the third step which is filing a complaint with this company like do this after you have gotten the automatic resolve thing by the by the AI because it just makes this method less likely to work because it would just say your ticket ID is still listed in open status in here. All right, but once you go on here, what you want to do is click file a complaint against the business. You want to search for discord. This one right here. Click no, 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 no. Continue. I'm just gonna do a random name because I'm obviously not gonna submit anything. Uh, you do wanna put your email, preferably the one linked to your account that got banned. 
and also the phone number that got banned. Uh, I'd recommend putting in your address. That's what I did. And for here, if like your postcode isn't like five digits because it makes you like do five, uh, just put an extra zero. That's what I did, bro. All right, then select your country. Uh, I might just do random stuff. Uh, Alright, there we go. Click continue. And then you want to click yes, click no, and then go back to here. And you want to you wanna copy and paste this whole thing. Right here. Go back here, copy and paste the whole thing. And you want to edit this bit. You want to put your discord username and the ID preferably and then you want to go here and do contact by the business optionally you can do like something else as well but I just did this and it worked out for me so I'm just doing what I did and you want to upload like anything just genuinely anything like this if you can or like payment details to discord as that's what I did I showed them like payment history of my account and yeah that's basically it and do this only after you have like gotten resolved or like gotten the request as solved because yeah uh yeah do not open multiple tickets as it will make this a lot more harder. Uh, if you were banned, try avoid ban evading. I do not see us ban evading because if that account gets banned because of ban evasion, then it's just going to link back to your main account and your main account would just get banned. So I do not recommend it. Uh, do not use the exploit to get anyone else banned because you will eventually be banned. Uh, you have up to 30 days to get your account restored so you have a lot of time and the method I did worked in like a day or two so I had a really good success rate um, if you can try and reword the script uh, to be a little different and yeah so my account was permanently suspended I had a violations and I genuinely thought I was never getting my account back but I ended up getting it back and I'm super happy. So you make sure to check out the video if you want to see how the exploit works and how it might have been used on you. And if there's anything else you want to learn about the bands, go to like here because this is where I learned about the BBB method. This one right here. But yeah, that's basically it. See you, bro.